All right, y'all. This video is about an inmate at William E. Donaldson Correctional Facility charged after lockdown. Let's get right to this, man, because this right here is crazy. Video, you'll see a man wearing a correctional officer's vest and he has a gun in his hand well earlier today i sent an email to the alabama department of correction corrections wanting to you know get more information and details about this security incident that happened here at this facility yesterday morning and as of right now we do not have those details Stacy George, a former Alabama correctional officer and I, are watching this video of a William E. Donaldson prison inmate wearing a correction officer's vest and waving a gun with other inmates in the same room. They could have easily killed 10, 15 people with that gun. It looked like to me he was trying to get a message out. Alabama Department of Correction says Daryl Shaw is charged with promoting prison contraband, possessing contraband certain people aren't allowed to have, and terroristic threats. Shaw is serving a life without parole sentence for murder and other crimes. George was a corrections officer for 13 years until 10 months ago. I am absolutely not surprised at all. It, I've been expecting this to happen at any point. Um, since I left. He says things aren't good for either employees or inmates across Alabama prisons right now. They're not getting the thing, the basic needs they need at times in there. And they're not, they don't have enough staff to do it. And then the, the, it makes the, the confrontation worse because now you've got everybody in a bad mood. In a 22 minute video, that same man goes on a rant about issues inmates in the Donaldson prison are dealing with. They create the conditions so that we die. George suggests state leaders hire retired officers, pay them very well to help with the staffing issues, and also... They need to have a presence out in the in the near area with the National Guard because the numbers are so low. The, the Alabama Department of Creation is not running the prison right now. The inmates are. Uh, George also mentioned to me it was alarming to see the inmate have a gun in his hand. He tells me uh, no one inside is allowed to bring or have a weapon inside the prison, and that was alarming to him. Another thing I had a chance to do today was speak with people who have loved ones inside this facility, and they tell me inmates' frustrations are with the treatment they're receiving here and also the lack of parole grants. And we are also still waiting to learn more from uh, a doc. All right, y'all. Talk on uh, this situation and wearing a. All right. We got a lot to get into with this, a whole lot. So, number one, how did he get that vest? How did he get that gun? Like, how? How did that even happen? Do you know how many lives he could have taken in there via CEO or inmates? That's the first thing. Imagine. I mean, just look. Just imagine <clears throat> if you got beef with this dude and you went there. And on top of that, this dude already got life without parole. So what more could they do to him? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And then the cell phone usage. It's like if this dude can have a cell phone and he has a gun, he can arrange for himself to get let out of there. Alabama, man, I've been hearing all type of crazy stuff about Alabama prison system, man. Crazy, Warrior Lane, Taylor's Field Road, Warrior Lane. That's the name that Donaldson Correctional Facility is? Warrior Lane, I bet it is. That's, that's scary on both ends because the inmates run that joint. The CEO's lost control. The administration has lost control. I can only imagine what goes on up in there. Only imagine. Matter of fact, I don't want to imagine. Because the more that I think about it, it can get dark and darker and darker. 
you talking about a straight up dog eat dog world straight up i i don't know man i don't know the, the thing that behooves me is how did he get that gun you know what i'm saying and when did he give the gun back up? Did he voluntarily give it up? I was about to say, you know, he screwed himself for being recorded, but, you know, he probably doing, he probably about to do eight months or a year in the hole for that video. But my question, the, the main question that I think everybody should be asking is how did homeboy get that gun? That's all I want to know. How did he get that gun? Did a guard give him the gun? Did him and his crew or himself stick a guard up and take the gun? Matter of fact, CEOs don't carry guns. To come to think about it, they got their baton, they mace, they taser. When you go, when you go to prison, or even in the county jail, but this prison, you cannot, the police cannot come in there with no gun. They got to lock their gun up in like in this locker. So my question is, how did he get that strap up in there? Yo, it's, I got a lot of questions, man. A lot of questions, man. A lot. Maybe Big Tune, Cartoon 53, the YouTuber that tell prison stories, he been locked up down there. Maybe he, he can talk about it. Somebody tag Cartoon 53 in the, into this video because I believe he was locked up here. I'm not 100% sure was he locked up here, but I believe he said he was locked up here. Somebody tag that man in this video and ask him to do a reaction to this video because um we need answers we need answers now there's another thing that i want to talk about also about this video she said something real important about like right here what he talking about how inmates are being they set the conditions for these inmates to act out it's a lot of injustices that goes on you know, inmate on inmate and inmate versus the guards. So I get it. I, I do get it. I get where violence can just sprout out, sprout up from anywhere. Because I've been behind the walls myself. And I do get when um, certain conditions are put on inmates for them to act out. Such as giving us bad food, turning the water off not letting us shower yeah unsanitary conditions not giving us cleaning supplies to clean our areas or our cells i get it i do get it but hey what can you do this is the dante show network if y'all want to get in contact with me to do a show with me whatever the case may be download stream yard Okay, if you're feeling generous today, the cash app is right there. Dollar sign the Dante Show, and that is with three W's. And with that, y'all, I'm out.